Windows 10 Anniversary Update is already out and Microsoft are really proud of the product that they made. So let's see how to update our operating system to the latest anniversary update of Windows 10. Hello friends, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and today I'm going to show you a fast video of how you can update your Windows to the latest anniversary update that Microsoft released recently. First, I want to show you that if I go to the settings and this is the issue that I've encountered, so that's why I'm creating this video so I can help others. If I check for updates, it will show that my device is currently up to date and it's not able to show the latest anniversary update that I want to upgrade my computer with. So what I found is digging around in Microsoft articles, I found that there is a way for you to download the update with the update uh, assistant. So I'm going to share the link in the description below so you can find the link and use the upgrade assistant yourself. So I'm going to download the update assistant and it will download a small um, executable that will help me to update my system. So I'm waiting for it to... Okay, let's run. Yes. And from here you can see that currently my PC is running an older version of Windows 10 and the latest version is 14.30.393. So I'm going to update now and it's going to check and please note that I had issues with the disk space. So it will require at least 30 gigabytes of disk space available so it can download the update. And straight away you can see that uh, it started uh, downloading and upgrading my computer. So from here on the process is pretty much the same as the upgrade process of if you had an upgrade from an older operating system. And what I found is after the upgrade, you will still have the option, I'm not sure if it's 30 days, it's possible that it's 30 days, to roll back to the older uh, update version that you had. So if you are having problems, for example, with your software, with the anniversary update, you can still roll back and it will still show a windows.alt folder that you can go ahead and clean with this cleanup after the update is finished. But I recommend you to work with the anniversary update. There are a lot of new features that are available and see that everything is working fine for you if your software is up and running and everything is as it's supposed to be. So I'm going to pause the video right here and it, I will wait for the um, computer to restart and we'll resume from there so I can show you what are the steps. So now that the process is at 97% I'm going to resume the video so I can show you what are the next steps. And you can see that it's still downloading at 99% and let's see what will happen next if it's going to start installing the new anniversary updates. So you can see that uh, the depending on your connection it can take some time to download the updates required. But and of course depending on your configuration that you have the process of installing or verifying the download can take some time. So now that the verification finished it will start updating Windows 10 and after the update is, is at 100%, it should automatically restart the computer and it should continue with installing the automatic updates, of course. So I'm going to pause the video once again until the percentage is high enough and we'll continue from there so we can keep the video short enough. Okay, so now that the process of upgrading my computer finished, it says that the PC needs to restart in order for the update to complete and it's going to restart in half an hour. You can schedule to restart later if you want or you can restart now. So I'm going to restart the computer now 
and we'll um, continue to see what the process will do to the windows and what are the next steps that are required so I can show you how easy is the process of upgrading to the latest anniversary update released by Microsoft. Okay, now that uh, my computer is restarting, I'm going to see if it's going to continue to upgrade the system or if it's going to straight away allow me to log in to the new fully upgraded um, Windows 10 anniversary. So let's see. You can see that it's going to work on the updates and you can see what is the uh, window that you should see when you perform the upgrade. So again, I'm going to pause the video right here so you don't wait and see how the percentages go up and I'm going to continue right before the percentage finish. So the PC restarted around, I think it was 30% this first time and I'm waiting for the process to continue and I just wanted to show you a fast cut of uh, what you can expect during the update process. So around 30%, for me at least, it restarted once and it's saying that the, during the process the computer can restart several times so it can finish the updates. So it continues from 30% and I'm going to pause the video once again and wait for the process to continue with the next step. Another restart occurred at 71% so I'm waiting for the computer to boot up once again. So let's see if the process will finish now or it will still require to clean up some files after the update. So you can see that it's now at 75% and I think it's going to be really fast here. But nevertheless, I'm going to pause the video once again so we can keep it short here. So the updates, um, again, like I said, it's not taking that much time to do the final bits of the update. And let's see at 91% uh, if it's going to require another restart. Until now, uh, two restarts occurred on the system. So you need to be prepared and not to panic if the computer is restarting by itself. Okay, so now that the update finished successfully, it will ask me once again if I'm Nick or if I'm not. So you can create your own account right here or use the account that you were using before. Click next. And it will ask if you want to customize the settings or use the express settings. So I'm going to customize and see. I think the settings are the same as before. You can specify any additional things. I'm going to turn them off for now, just for testing purposes. Okay. Click next. Okay. Next once again. And again, you will be asked to configure Cortana if you want to use it or not now. So it's going to finalize the settings and let's see if it's going to create a new profile for me or if it's going to use my old profile from my old um, Windows 10. Okay, so I can see the login screen now. So I'm going to log in with my account. And let's see if all the settings were as before. And of course, it will, it's going to create another profile. And at least, or it's going to clean the 
upgrade files that were used. So again, you will have to wait for these annoying messages to go away. And we'll see if the upgrade process finished successfully for me at least. So after a few minutes, it will show the screen, the normal desktop that uh, we are used to see, but with few different options. And it will say thank you for upgrading to the latest version. You can now exit the assistant. And if you go on the start menu, you can see that it's somewhat different from the older builds. There are a few visual effects that were added to the new build. There are a lot of features that were added. And I just want to show you if we go to the settings and if we go to updates and security and go to recovery you have the option to go back to an early, earlier build which uh, is the thing that I was saying so if I open my Windows Explorer and go to the C partition I will see that I have the windows.alt folder let's see how much is the size of that folder well you can see that basically what it did is it's using the same system to the same uh, mechanics to upgrade your computer with the latest anniversary update of Windows 10 so I'm going to close this window for now if you want you can always go ahead and use this cleanup to remove the earlier build if you don't have enough free space on your C partition but I always recommend for you to play around with the new update confirm that it's suitable for you and after that remove that uh, earlier build that is taking your space so this is the video of how you can update your Windows 10 to the latest anniversary update released by Microsoft if you are not able to see the update in the normal Windows updates. This was Nick from NLB Solutions. Thank you very much for viewing. If you like the video, you can always subscribe to NLB Solutions. And you can always share the videos, like them, comment them. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you very much for viewing and see you soon.